for me, it's like, it's kind of like um, the act of creation is almost like purging something or it's like, it's like a, it's like a cleanse where like, if something needs to come out, I'm going to feel it. And then I'm going to, I'm going to guide it to come out. You know, it's almost like uh, releasing toxins from the body. Like, like you're, you're like, a, like you're purging or you're sweating or you're, um, there's kind of a release that happens. So sometimes if I don't feel anything that needs to be released, I'll just be okay with that. And then maybe I'll do some reading instead. So I don't force it. If mm-hmm. nothing's coming that day, uh, I just let that be and, you know, I'll find something else to do. Um, but as long as I keep showing up consistently and, and cause I think like, I like to think that there's a relationship that creatives have with the muse. Um, because when you think about where ideas come from, you know, you're, I feel like you're, we're really tapping into another dimension, like our imagination and our intuition. These are portals that give us access to, in a lot of ways, like another dimension. And this is where, you know, the muse lives. And I feel like the muse will give us her secrets as long as we prove to her that we are dedicated and committed and that we are worthy receivers of her insights. So I feel like when you show up and make it consistent and make it a habit, the muse is more likely to whisper her beautiful secrets into your ear. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. I I think I read that some did you read Elizabeth Gilbert Big Magic? I think yeah, she I love that talks book. about that. Yeah, yeah. She talks about that as well as like you have to show up and it's like it's not always gonna come to you, but it, it's something you can't control. But all all you can control is just showing up, right? Um, what other tips or advice do you have for creatives? Because a lot of people struggle with maybe well, I don't know. There's just so many like self-sabotage, self-doubt. It's just everything a creative goes through in their mind. I'm sure you've gone through the same exact thing. So what advice do you have for people? So there's a lot of things I would say. One of the first things that comes to mind is that get over the idea of perfectionism. Like I love this quote from the jazz musician, Miles Davis. He said, do not fear mistakes. There are none. He said, there's, when you're playing jazz, you can't play the wrong note because it, the note you play doesn't matter. It's about the note that you play after that note. So even if you hit the wrong note, when you follow that up with a different note, it just becomes something different. So the creative process is very much like jazz music in that it is very spontaneous and it's happening in the moment. And it's about just channeling that energy as it's coming through. And it's not going to be perfect. And perfection is not the point. The best art has something that's a little bit rougher around the, around the edges, or it reveals something true about the, the creator. And if something is overly engineered or overly analytical or overly processed, it might not have that same infectious spirit. So I think that in a way, like all creativity, all art is improvisation. Even if I'm at home alone making a meme, that idea still comes through in a spontaneous way and I write it down in a way that is very much improv. I'm making it up as I go. I don't know the ending of the meme before when the idea comes. I've got to take the idea and dance with it and see where I can go with it. And there's no predefined way to do that. It's about having awareness in the present moment to work with that energy. So don't worry about perfectionism. Don't worry about making mis- making a mistake. I also love stand-up comedy. And the thing with becoming a good stand-up comic is that there's no way you can go on stage for the first time and be a great stand-up comic. It's not possible because it's not about being smart or writing a great joke. It's about being comfortable enough on stage to deliver it in a way that's going to impact and holding space and make, having a relationship with that audience. And you can only do that through repetition, through practice, through habits. So it's just showing up and just trying and failing and trying and failing. And it's not failure because it's actually helping you step forward. 
So embrace your mistakes, embrace the messiness of the process, right? And don't worry too much about perfection. Um, that's one of the main things I would say. And just trusting your own intuition, like trusting your inner, your inner voice and your inner vision. And, you know, if something is trying to come through you, if you have an idea that you want to express, that's not an accident. I think that idea is using you as a vessel to get out into the world. So trust your intuition, trust your insight, and just try to be a, a reliable midwife to bring those ideas into the world. <laughs>